Hello, my name is Jeremy Smart and I draw comic books and I've been meaning to do this video for a very, very long time. I've just been so busy. I had a private commission, that was a lot of fun, but that took a few weeks. I've been drawing a lot of book covers, I've been doing a lot of comics. I had a birthday, I aged in the space of one day. I became old, but I had a magnificent cake. I feel sick just thinking about it, but it was so good. Anyway, I'm here now and I'm ready and I'm gonna do a first for one of these videos. I'm gonna do an unboxing video. So I bought back a load of stuff and toys from Japan that I wanted to unbox and show you bit by bit. Uh, so today's video is gonna be about unboxing Gashapon. Gashapon. Gashapon are essentially capsule toys. You know capsule toys, you get them everywhere. The little machines where you put a couple of coins in and you turn the thing and you get a thing that you have to open and it's got a toy in. Uh, probably not worth how much you spent on it even, but it's more the surprise that's the fun part of it. In Japan, uh, they are called Gashapon and they are huge. They are everywhere. Gashapon! Every corner has 20, 30 Gashapon machines. Has a lot of Gashapon machines. There are just banks and banks of Gashapon machines. Gashapon. <laughs> Capsule toys, Gashapon. Look at all my Gashapon. Gashapon! Uh, and the stuff you get in them is pretty random. Whereas here in the West, we tend to just get little plastic toys and things. Uh, in Japan, they do things a bit differently and that you can get a lot of different stuff in there. Very surreal things, very weird things. And it's always different. Every one you go to tends to be different from the last. Uh, so there's a lot of variety and a lot of weirdness to be had. So when I was in Japan, I went round and obviously I put a lot of money into a lot of these things because that's what I do because I'm a tourist. And I got some cool stuff. Uh, full disclosure, I have opened a lot of these already. Obviously when you're standing at the machine, you open it because you want to see what you're going to get and you want to know whether to put more money in and try and get another one. Uh, but I have a very bad memory and I can't remember what I got. Also, some of them I haven't opened yet. So uh, they'll be as much a surprise to me as they are to you. At the end of this video, I'm going to pick one of the things I get out of the capsule and then I'm going to draw it. Cause this is a drawing video after all but anyway let's get on with the unboxing <laughs> oh, i needed those okay first one it's a nice little pink capsule pink and clear let's unpop oh that's nice it's, uh, what's this what's this get him out he can't breathe it's uh, the, uh, he's a well-known character. I, oh, I don't know his name. Was he a raccoon, red panda? Anyway, he's dressed as a chef and he's having a lot of fun making a burger. It's a really nice model, actually. Really nicely made. Yeah, so uh, I'm sure I'll get told off for not knowing his name. Uh, he's very popular and very cute, but I can't remember it. I can't be expected to hold all this information in my brain. There he goes, making his burger. I think it's ready. And uh, yeah, that's kind of cute. I like that one. Right. Push you to one side. Let's do a green one. Ooh. This is a bigger one. If we uh, unhinge it. Ooh. Oh, God, it's these. Right, these are weird. Bonno. They're little people dressed as trees. Which is very nice. Oh no, well not dressed as trees, they are trees. And there's that for our Japanese friends. So yeah. I wonder which one I have. He's kind of cool. Have a look. I seem to remember I kept going back to this machine because I wanted to get the one I wanted. I got this one. That is weird. Again, very nicely made little model. Made in China. And it's just a dude who is a flower and a tree and a something else. Uh, so that's that guy. I've got that guy. And I feel very lucky. Let's, uh, if we leave him there, 
Alright, as I say, we did keep going back, so I'll try this one now. Same fit. This dude! Again, what are they holding? I don't quite understand. They look like chicken drumsticks, or... I'm guessing they're not. That's a nice bowl, too. Plastic. Obviously. Yep. He's having a lot of fun. Hi, hi. Right. Another one. Oh, we got doubles. We got the same one. I'll keep that bag and put it on eBay in 20 years' time. Still very nice. You can go back in your box. I don't need you just yet. Always annoying when you get doubles in the gash bomb machine. And now let's do a, another one. Woohoo! And he actually looks a bit different. Let's see. Oh, I can't get him out. There we go. Uh, oh, he's bending over. It's that dude! He's um he looks like he's doing a dance or something weird with all his ferns. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what he's doing. But either way, he's trying to hide his bottom. So yeah, I got those three. Those are all the ones I got out of the machine, so I got him, him, her, him, her, him. And I didn't get them. Which is a shame, because they're quite cute. I would have liked them. I would have preferred them to them. You're nice, but uh, yeah, I prefer the other one. Anyway, yeah, so they're, they're obviously part of a series. Oh, it's the wrong way around. Very weird. But cool. Very cool. Alright, that's those ones. Let's try this. Well, there's a cat in it. You can see that. Oh, it's taped up. Pop it. Ah. Some things fell out. Oh, oh. I've not made that noise before. It's a cat kitchen. So obviously, as we all know, cats are very good cooks. And there are, let's close up on these. There are a few different apparatus that they like to use. Let's see what I've got. I didn't even don't know what I've got. What have I got? What's that? What is it? Uh, it's that one. The cutlery holder? I don't know actually. Let's see, oh, we've got a little measuring jug. A little measuring jug with cat paws is very cute. I don't quite know what this does. But we also have this, which is cat cutlery. As everyone knows, cats often use cutlery when they eat. But, uh, mm, can't seem to get it out. Hang on, scissors. There's no subtlety when I open things up. Right. So there is... Oh, a little cat knife. Very nice. And there is a spoon. It looks like a mixing spoon. Cat mixing spoon. So, I guess according to the instructions. Oh, that's a plate. That's a plate. Is it like a serving dish? 
Am I being really stupid? Is this obvious? No, that doesn't go in there. Goes in there in the picture. Oh no, the knife goes in there. There you go. Uh, put that in. I don't know. And then that hangs off the side according to the picture. I don't know what that is. I. It's nice. It's very nice. I fully support it, but I can't say I fully understand it. Right, let's get on to the next one. This is a clear one. You can see I've already opened it because it's got a bit of tape on it. But again, this was months ago, and I can't remember anything that I got. So, <laughs> it's good, Dharma. You might know Gudetama, he is the lazy egg, which is very popular at the moment. Ah. So this is some kind of phone charm, maybe. Oh, it's a baby! It's a baby Gudetama. Oh, that's very cute. I like that. I won't do anything with it, but I like it. Very nice, baby. Let's see what else we could have got. Oh, there he is, hatching. And de-hatching. Oh, that's a bit weird. Hmm. I'm constantly amazed with Good Summer, how many ideas they get out of it. It's basically just an egg. But the number of applications, it's quite astounding what they do with him. Right, let's try this one. This is a oh, it's another cat. It's another cat kitchen. It looks different on the inside, so hopefully I'll be able to work out what this one is. Considering I'm making this video, and I don't know what anything is. There are our options again. Let's see which one would I want? Uh, I like. That one. That looks like the takoyaki you make. I would like that. It's not the hat. It is that one. Which one's that? That one? That one. It's out. Right. Oh, look. So we've got a nice little plate with um, what you call them? Leaves. Uh, rice leaves? Oh, I can't remember the word. Oh, I'm making myself sound like an idiot now. Uh, and we have little rice balls like this. And like this in the shape of a cat. And like this in the shape of a cat. But that one actually looks like a cat. And we have a little container which has a little cat face in the bottom. Oh, you can see it there too. Uh, this is for making rice balls with faces on them. So you put the rice in like that. And then you squeeze it shut. But that's not going to squeeze because that's plastic. And then I guess you lay it out on the plate. Like Cute. I'm gonna say I'm not impressed by that. It promised more than it gave. What's this one? Oh, oh, that little wooden houses. I sounded sarcastic when I said that. I don't know how you can be sarcastic about a wooden house. Oh look, it's a wooden house. Right. Oh yeah, I think I've opened this one before. Ah. So there's the little house with the little door, little window. Oh look, there's a little table and chairs in there. Don't know what that bit is. And then there's a bear. He's cute. That's a cute bear. And then you throw him in. So I guess if you think I'm going to spend time trying to arrange him sitting properly in there, 
you're very much mistaken. So I got that one. I like the gingerbread men. I like the rabbits too. I might just go back to Japan and uh, get some more. Right, let's do another one. Oh, hang on, my dog's coming. I have to tend to go away. Go away, go on, take it out. Go! He only wanted to play with his toy. But I'm busy, I'm working. Right, this one. Uh. Oh, it's another cat one. Blimey, how many did I get? I don't remember buying all these, I'll be honest with you. I think I must have blacked out and just bought a load of them. So, there we go again. Oh, it's the one I wanted. It's actually the one I wanted. That was lucky. Right, now we get to the good stuff. Look at these little takoyakis. Takoyakis, if you don't know, are octopus balls. They're bits of octopus which are cooked in batter. Very popular in Japan. Quite popular over here now too. As well. Oh, sugar. Right. Keep them all in one place. So that's cool. There's a lot of nice detail going on there. It's a very nice little takoyaki maker. And we have a little poking stick to poke the takoyaki. Oh, each takoyaki is shaped like a... Well, I guess it's a cat. Oh, no, that one isn't. It's a bit like a bear as well. Uh, right. Dip, dip, dip. Balls, 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 balls. All right, and then you cook them and poke them. This turns them round without denting them. Put the lid on there. Yeah. Oh, it's backwards. Oh yeah. Right. I like that. I'll keep that. That's a good one. Ah, it's a bit fiddly there. Very nice. Right. What else? I'm gonna save the really cool ones till the end because I think they're gonna be a bit special. This one, I don't know what this is. Let's have a look. Oh, I remember these. This was from one toy shop in, uh, where was it? Ueno? Ueno, I think. It's a really cool toy shop under a railway bridge. And they had a machine, and it's the only place I found this machine. Look at these weird things. They're throwing up various substances. I don't know what they're throwing up. Spinach, hopefully. Tomato juice. Banana. Oh, he's a monkey. So yeah, that makes sense. Oh look, you've got names. Mer rabbit. Mer penguin. Mer monkey. Mer panda. Mer elephant. Oh, so they're all part fish. I've only just noticed that. As you can see, I am very observant. Comes in a little bag. Rip it. Rip it open. So there's my mer elephant. That's cool. Oh, I really like the bear. I like the rabbit as well. There's the mer elephant. Very weird. Very, very weird. Made in China, as all the best things are. Yeah, it's really nice texture to it. There's a little hole in his mouth, which is where this comes out of, which we're saying is tomato juice, <sighs> for the sake of decency. There you go. So let's stick it in. That's actually really nice design. Very vivid. Doesn't stand up very well. Right. Should have been it. Come on. No, oh, it's not going to do it. Any other way? There you go, you can lie on his back. Yeah, very nice. Not very functional. So, did 
this one, as you can see, I've opened it already. It has dirty sellotape on it. But I don't know what it is. What the hell is this? What the? Oh. Well, they're melting animals, I suppose. And who hasn't done that before? Oh, I can see which one it is. It's the tortoise toro toro. No, tortoise toro toro. That's what they're called. Animal toro toro. Toro toro. I'm probably saying that one. I don't know what that means. I might find out later. I probably won't. Even if I find out, I'll forget. Right, we have the little tortoise. Oh, he looks happy. Why is he so happy? He's melting. Little feet. Ooh, he's got weird block feet. Oh, maybe he stands on something. And then this bit. Don't know where that goes. Presumably on one of these. Um, oh no, it should go there, shouldn't it? That one. Well, it looks like it should go there. But maybe this one will go somewhere. Um, oh, this is complicated. That goes there. Maybe we should look at the picture. That goes there, and that goes there, there. So yeah, he's a melting blue and green tortoise. I don't know why. I'm just glad he is. Well, I'm glad he's happy about it anyway. There, he stands up better than the last one. Very, very nice. I like him. What would I have rathered? Ah, oh, the chipmunk. Yeah, the chipmunk. And the elephant a bit. The rest of them are not that fussed. Yeah, to be honest, the tortoise, I'm not that fussed about. Oh well. Right, those are the main ones. Now we get to the special event, the grand finale. Rilakkuma. You may know Rilakkuma. Very popular teddy bear or bear, I think bear might be more accurate, uh, character in Japan and all over the world and his friend, the other Rilakkuma, I don't know the name, uh, Lady Rilakkuma, secondary Rilakkuma, associate Rilakkuma, uh, but yeah I love Rilakkuma even though I don't know the name of the other characters. Uh, I have a lot of stuff and I'm going to be doing some other videos very soon with other Rilakkuma things what I got in Japan because I got a lot of things I went a bit mad right let's see if we can open this this is cool just because the capsule itself is the head and I like that that's why I kept going back to the machine uh, normally you get these things which are you know fun but boring but this actually comes out of the machine like this so uh Goodness knows what's actually inside it. Probably snakes. No, it's not gonna be snakes. I've learnt my lesson, it's never snakes. Right, that's quite hard to... Scissors. There, there we go. I've been waiting to open this for months. That's why I wanted to do this video, just so I could open this blimmin thing. I've been very very excited. It's made my day. Where did we get this? Uh, we went to... Oh it was that big man-made island place. I can't remember what it's called now. Sunshine City or something. It's not Sunshine City but I can't remember what it's called. Right. Right. Oh, there's two layers. There we go, it's got a really nice smooth filter actually. Uh, how do we open? Ooh. Ooh. Would you look at that? Body bits. Quite chunky body bits. I don't know if they're hollow, I guess they're hollow. Oh, smells. Oh, smell of um, plastic. 
that's nice. Oh, there we go. There are the other ones we can get. I don't know which one we've got, actually. I like him. Oh, I wish I'd got more now. There you go. Instructions. But we don't need instructions. When have we ever needed instructions? Uh, there's the body. There's... There's one ear. Look at you wobbling around. Oh, yeah, that falls to the table. There's the other ear. So oh, maybe we should check. Do you put the put the head together first, and then does that just pop on? The, yeah, I guess that pops. Oh, I've got the lying down one. That's cute. Pop the head together. So I pop the head together. Pop the neck. There you go, little catch. Feels a bit loose to be honest. There's one ear. Oh look, they're numbered. That's handy, isn't it? But the holes aren't numbered, so. Oh, look, that's clever. So it's got a little diagonal bit on it, and that's got a little diagonal bit, so it fits in there. Yeah. It's really Kuma just chilling, rubbing his own tummy. Lying by the pool, trying to ignore the zip up his back. Yeah, that's a nice little model, actually. I like that. I don't know why I'm making him dance. He wouldn't be dancing. So that's one Rilakkuma. Let's do other Rilakkuma. Uh, oh, this one's wrapped even more. Ah, ah I do wish I'd got more of these now. But as you can see, there's only four in the range, and it's hard to tell from the outside which one you're going to get. You're either going to get one of these or one of these. But there are variations of each. Right. This is just a video of a grown man trying to open a toy. Right, that's essentially what this video is though. Is that a hat? It's not a hat. Don't be silly, Jamie, that's not a hat. Again, we have our display. I wonder which one we have. We have the heart one. You can see we have the heart one. Which is obviously the best one. Yeah. There's no subtlety to my opening technique. Yep. Ears. Head, put the head together, plop, put the head on the thing. What's that bit then? I'm like a caveman. So it doesn't fit anywhere. Was that just. I don't know. Oh, look, they're number three and four. The other ones were numbered one and two. They thought of everything except where this goes. Yeah, because I mean it goes there, but then the body goes there. I don't know. I don't know where that goes. I don't know what that's for. Why have I got that? See, that one didn't come with a protective. Maybe it's just a protective thing. Oh, on the Gashpon capsules, they have four little holes, they have four little holes. So I guess it's just protective. Alright, we don't need that. But there we go. We have Rilakkuma and the other Rilakkuma. Do you love me, Rilakkuma? Nah, I'm just chilling. So, there they are. They're very cool, I like them. Oh, but the heads keep coming off. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Right. 
Those are my gashapons. I've made a terrible mess. Uh, right, I was going to pick one, wasn't I? I need to pick one to draw. What would be a fun one to draw? I mean, that dude was fun. I don't know, I hate drawing trees though. Uh, he'd be fun, whatever his name is. Uh, uh, oh no, I need to decide. Come on, decide, decide. I don't want to draw you, I don't want to draw you. Good Atama would be... Yeah, I might do it. Yeah, let's do a Gudetama. That'd be fun. Right, I'm going to draw a baby Gudetama. That was my unboxing of the Gashapon toys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, come back next week. Uh, no, not next week. Next video. And I will be unboxing more things from Japan and then drawing them. Um, I haven't decided what yet. Probably, uh, probably Hello Kitty something. I don't know. Um... And for now, I will say goodbye, and I will go and draw this little chump. Bye.